please welcome Mr. Robert Duchesne. All right. All right. All right. It's great to be here. Great to see you. You sound good. Good looking crowd. <laughs> Got a lot of young people here. I like to see young people. Young people with your soft skin and your hope. <laughs> Go ahead and enjoy that while it lasts. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know I'd start my show like that. <laughs> I'm a little cranky. I didn't really expect to live this long. <laughs> every day's a gift, though, you know. It's, it's happy people like to tell you every day's a gift, you know. Just wake up in the morning, just make it through another gift. <laughs> My luck will live to be a hundred. I like watching those news magazine shows this morning where they invite people on and wish them a happy 100th birthday. Those people ever look happy to you? Hey, you're a hundred. Tell us, what's your secret? I can't die. <laughs> As I lay awake at night just thinking of all the people in my life that have wronged me. Then I think about all the people I've wronged, you know, just to make sure I'm still ahead. <laughs> Get much sleep. I got noisy neighbors. I gotta move. Hoping to move next to a serial killer if I can. They're always so nice and quiet. <laughs> Keep to themselves. Certain traits you can look for: 25 to 35, white, male. It's almost always men. Hardly ever see a woman serial killer. I think that's because women generally like to kill one man slowly. <laughs> many, many long years. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, uh, I don't have kids, but uh, love to see pictures of your kids. <laughs> it never ends. You want to see a picture of my baby? <laughs> I was just thinking that. I think it'd be tough to raise kids. Everybody's worried about their kids' self-esteem. We didn't have self-esteem when I was growing up. In fact, if you had it, they'd beat it out of you. It's not just kids, everybody's worried about their self-esteem. It's actually a disorder. I was reading this the other day, it's a BDD, Body Dysmorphic Disorder. Some people have it so bad they feel that they are too ugly to even leave their house. <laughs> not enough people. A lot of people worried about their self-esteem. I went to the doctor, he told me I gotta start doing cardiovascular exercise, right? Get the heart rate up, you know? Said I should work. I've always had a theory when it comes to working out hard, though. My theory is, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna... I'll just tell everybody I'm 70. Wow, you look great for 70, huh? I take care of myself. <laughs> That's my show. You guys have had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.